100 million people without power. There are power outages in the Middle East sweeping across the United States. What's going on? What is the cause of these power outages? Is it because of winter storms or is it something else? We're taking a look because this is big. And are you ready for a power outage? I hope so. Are you ready for 10 to 12 days of, of food and water just in case something happens? I know I am. You can never be too safe. Welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at all of the power outages going on as of right now. This is very concerning, but we need to address this because it's insane. It's insane. Uh, please, if you support these videos, the truth, this is the stuff the mainstream media doesn't want people to know. Um, please thumbs up the video, comment down below. If you want to support the channel, uh, again, I have a link in the description down below, which I, um, I don't know if I told you, but I uh, set up a link if you want to support just, you know, as these videos get demonetized, etc. Um, just to support our president. That's what I am doing. So anyways, Pakistan plunges into complete darkness, leaving 212 million people with no power and in complete darkness. Darkness. How does one entire nation go out of power? We can also take a look at the Vatican. There have been live streams with no power at the Vatican. Is that a coincidence? A lot of stuff going on in Italy right now. Is this tied to, you know, everything going on in, in politics? I can't really say because YouTube's laws and everything, but... I wanted to just address, even moments ago, as of today, January 12th, York City, more than 26,000 people without electricity, uh, with equipment failure in hospitals. It was some type of equipment issue that spawned all of this sub substation that's up near, U up near York Hospital. The initial problem is that first substation, to, but take a look at this. Uh, in Pakistan. A countrywide blackout has been caused by a sudden plunge in the frequency in the power transmission center. There were there are long lines outside patrol pumps in the city. Cars are queuing as people buy fuel for their backup generators. I was in the line. People have been waiting for hours with patrol cans in hand, said Akbar Saifi. It's talking about darkness coming. We could see that, you know, also Lynn Wood has said some things too about that. Now, maybe the liberal side could just say concerning to me. This is a story in Northern California. This is on cbsnews.com, by the way, guys. If you want to check it out, you can type, check it out yourself. Freezer power outage forces emergency injections of COVID vaccine. Do you want to live in a world where, oh, yeah, there's a little power outage. We, there's a, we have emergency injections now for these Moderna vac coronavirus vaccines. Seriously though, a freezer holding in Northern California County's entire allotment of a Moderna vaccine suffered a power outage Monday, forcing officials to distribute all 830 doses as an emergency basis before the vaccine thought. I mean, this is scary. Could you imagine if the entire country went into a blackout? And they said, oh, the, all the vaccines are thawing out. We need to, everybody needs to get them right now. What are you going to do? If someone comes knocking on your door and say, the vaccine is thawing out. Open up your arm. I'm injecting you. And if, they, and if you say no, they, I don't know, maybe a police. Like, what are, the, this is crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy. So we have York City, Pakistan, Italy, the Vatican, Northern California. Uh, power, power outage at King High School. People in Texas, Corpus Christi, Texas. This is as of today, Tuesday, January 12th. This is breaking news, guys. We need to not be sleeping on this stuff. Shalon, PUD, Cruz, busy responding to widespread power outages. The wet, heavy snow that fell overnight in the Wenatchee Valley knocked out power for thousands of Shalon County PUD customers across a wide area today as crews respond to numerous reports of downed, lined, and trees. Outages continue for the south shore of Lake Shalon, but crews are on site. 
Massive power outage leaves Pakistan in the dark. Pakistan's energy minister says a major technical fault in the country's power generation and distribution system caused a massive power outage that plunged the country into darkness overnight. Like that. Boom. Gone. Darkness. Even this video that you're watching right now, it could turn off everything. Power could go into darkness in a matter of seconds. In three, two, one. Could you imagine if it actually turned off right then and there? <laughs> That'd be scary. But